What is up YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before I get started, please go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Also feel free to share this brief video as well. Everything I state is allegedly not a guaranteed fact, my own personal opinion and observation. Shout out to my subscriber who informed me of some information. I appreciate you so much. And a lot of you out here that's been going hard, not to mention bringing things to my attention. Some things I miss, I can't notice everything. And it's not about who's right, it's about what's right. And that's why you guys are on this channel and many more other channels that are rallying over the truth. And the truth will always prevail. Okay, so moving along. So it's been some information that was spilled, or should I say some piping hot tea in regards to Mr. Ed and Miss Lyonia. And I can't say that I'm shocked about it. As I said in several videos, not to mention several other content creators, we question Mr. Ed's behavior. As you can see on every picture with Mrs. Lyonia, he's smiling too hard. He's pretending to enjoy that moment. He doesn't know how to engage naturally. He overacts. When it comes to affection with a woman, it should come natural. That attraction, if it's there, that chemistry. Even on a photo, he can't fake it. Or in order for him to get his rocks off, Please look at the picture in my thumbnail. I don't know if any of you, anyone else ever noticed this. Look where this man finger is at in the picture with them two hugging. And I guess he had to do that allegedly in order for him to show some type of affection for a woman. He had to gravitate towards something that he naturally likes allegedly. So Tasha K has something that's out on her page that was 7.30 live that she put out in regards to some DMs was exposed. Miss Lyona going back and forth with a female allegedly that her and Mr. Wu-Tang been having a thing with. It's been said that they have these wild parties going on and they both engage in these activities together. Not to mention Mr. Ed likes things really really way 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 if you know what i mean up there and that's what i'm gonna say at the end of the day i want to say each to its own you like what you like it is what it is but don't start questioning someone else don't start cutting someone else's grass when you have no your own or you don't have seeds to plant your own you guys continue to bash your ex, or should I say your still husband because you're living in sin. You have your little misters, or she's, or whoever she wants to be called, she, he, rallying for you, going so hard for you, not having anything to do with that retirement time, but to sit on Facebook and post your pictures and say all these negative things about this man, and he keeps going. And that gives everyone else the strength to keep exposing the truth and keep going for what they believe in. And that's the right thing. And if it was a peaceful situation, like I stated, like she claimed, she don't want to drag him. She don't want to bring him down. That's not what she tried to do. She exposed everything allegedly under the sun about this man. What else more could she possibly been hiding that was so private? And now you on the beach on your birthday with your kids kissing this man that doesn't look natural. And look where his finger is poking at. No respect, no class, no dignity. And this is who you are and that's who you chosen. And you want to say God sent them to you. No, you have a paid man child. And the truth always prevails and it always comes out. And it's funny that it's on a bigger platform. The same thing we've all been seeing for ourselves. We've all been noticing. It's finally coming out. And it's going to be heard from a bigger audience than what? Like my subscriber said, now what? You're going to blame this on Robert as well? Your DM's getting exposed. 
and you going back and forth with another girl, I guess he did that to you too, right? I guess he made up some fake texts like your group continue to do, right? Everything is your ex trying to tear you down. How is he cooking online, but he has time to make a fake page and post about you every day? How is he flying, driving, doing all these things, but he has time again to concentrate on your pictures and be crying and being negative and provoking you, antagonizing you, doing all these allegedly terrible things to you. But you're supposed to be living your best life. And you go above and beyond to show and try to prove that. When at the end of the day, if it's real, it's real and it comes naturally, sweetheart. That don't have to be proven. Organic love, real love, that comes naturally. In a matter of time, I'm going to show you what being an influencer is like. I'm going to put everything into that to motivate, to encourage, and to help other women. And when I get to where I need to be, and it could be men as well, because I have some men on this platform too. We are going to do what is necessary to help and encourage the younger generation and many more to come. We are going to come up with ideas. We are going to use our voices, use our platforms for something positive and help someone else. I refuse to slowly come up and not look back and I see someone else with talent that wants to do the same thing I'm doing, speak the truth, help other people. Even people our age or older people. Whoever needs the encouragement to be uplifted, that's what I'm here for. And so many other more positive people out here. So that's what an influencer is to me, sweetheart. And I will show you what that is on my way going up from the grace of God as you come down from your fall from grace. You cannot continue to attack someone, antagonize someone, question every fiber and being about this person. And you don't expect you to have your day. You don't expect for something, those same seeds that you reaped to come back to you. It was just a matter of time. And today, sweetheart, this is your day. Have fun. And how your Mr. Ed responds to it. He didn't have too much or nothing to say. What did he do? Put a hat up that says he gives zero you know, Fs. That's his response to it. To post a hat saying basically he don't care. It is what it is. That's how I took it. What do you mean you don't care? People are saying these accusations about you. You're claiming to be one way. But we're hearing you completely a different other way. And all you respond to it is saying you don't care? Really? And then the proof is in the pudding how you address your female and how you kiss her. You always go out of your way now that I think about it. Just like you did at her magazine reveal to touch on her like that. Who has to continuously do little secretive but not so secretive? I'm, I'm a man. I like women. Slick stuff. From groping on her, disrespecting her kids, from rubbing on her at a table in a public function... And then touching her kids with that same hand. And now she has on a bikini. And you have your hand somewhere. It does not need to be in a photo shoot. And you know we're going to notice it and talk about it. But you guys don't care. You are despicable. And you are the worst mother of the world. And I am glad today is your day you get exposed. And we're going to continue to speak the truth. And for your people to come and try to talk about other people's body and stuff like that, guess what, sweetheart? We are all natural and we are all different shapes and sizes and we are okay with that. We don't have to pay for a fake body to just validate who we are. We love every curve, every roll, every stretch mark. Everything that you consider a flaw, we look at it, look at it as though it's flawless. It makes us a real woman. We need no surgery for validation. So you guys need to get off of that with the surgery. Because Miss Lyona, from the way you bouncing around and twerking, it looks like you're going to need some touching up back there, some old fix flat, something to lift that back up. Because one side was bouncing a little bit longer than it should have been when you was twerking. Yeah, I saw that, sweetheart. But anyways, 
for you to not only come at this man, but come at different people about their body structures and shape. Nobody said anything about her body at first. People was just saying about how she danced perverted and how she doesn't wear clothes on her body. But for you guys to get so upset to release addresses, to talk about women's shapes, and how can you other grown women sit on a panel with this lady and laugh and agree about that when 95% of you don't have BBLs? But you applaud, applauding this lady and agreeing with the behavior that she's putting out. This is someone's grandmother. This is someone's mother. And she's talking about other women that she should be uplifting and inspiring at her age. But instead, you choose to use the little power that your leader gives you to try to talk about and disgrace other women for their bodies and their shapes. I have news for you. We are happy and content with who we are. We are blessed and happy the way God made us. We don't need validation for you, from you, or anyone else. Let's get that straight. And obviously, if you were so happy with the way God made you, you would not spend all your time and energy online going after a man who could give zero you-know-what about you. He does not know you personally. And you will be spending time with your husband who you claim loves you so much instead of being online talking about everything else that shouldn't even matter to you. Love yourself enough, lady, to let it go at this point. Find yourself another outlet. Because this not it. I am Ashley D, you guys. Leave your opinion down below. The clip will be coming out soon. Best believe I'll do my recap on it. I wish each and every one of you a good night. I'm probably finna go on Beyond the Craft Live. Have a little fun before I call it a night. Love you guys all. Have a good night. Stay blessed.